this video we are going to create an amazing cosmic photo effect using photoshop cs6 extended it will be fun so let's jump in photoshop hello and welcome back to tasty tutorials my name is dinan chaudhry and today we are going to create an amazing cosmic photo effect and i hope you like this one and we will use photoshop actions the file is given in the description bar you can easily download that from my given blog just go to download section and click that link and you will download that file and if you want to use these uh, used images these are also included in that project file so you could easily download them too and uh, i hope it will be fun so without wasting your time let me just show you what we can create firstly with these actions so this is a simple image i just increased the room of this image so we could get capture uh, extra details which will be captured in our uh, we can say that uh, actions so this is a simple image and create a selection around it like this and we will use a hard brush so it could be create a edgy selection because this brush needs edgy selections so after completely selecting that area when we will apply our effect or we can say that we when we run our actions and after finishing the finishing product will be look like this okay so at the meantime you can see that it is totally filled with this uh, actions so we'll just open this up and uh, you can see that it looks more uh, <laughs> it, you know that the face is not visible there is no problem with that we'll just hide this up now you can see that this is the final output and uh, i hope this is an attractive one because i like these uh, glowing stars and this uh, little universe uh, created in that and it will automatically follow your color spectrum this you can see that with the red is the red is going on and the greenish with greenish and this you can see that everything is according to their colors so we can even edit anything in this so we'll just simply close all groups at once so now you can see that there are lots of things we can edit in that like this spectrum you can see that from the background we can even edit this one edit this uh, whole uh, vignette and uh, this uh, little glow of this uh, color you can it, it it all depends on you how would you like to do, use so this one is also a default one and i hope you like this one too these are clouds basically and uh, are easily applied on this image and you can see that it creates some random cloudness on this so you can if turn on this uh, it will more visible but the beauty of this will be when we turn this on and after all you can even turn this uh, we can say that what is the layer of this name is uh, photo color bleed it means that the colors are bleeding out with some uh, glow without this it looks more weird thing you can see that it looks not so complete so we'll turn this on and this one is your overall image so you can see that it will look a little bit faded in this uh, color so it will more appropriate and nice and what is this about this photo is pretty much hd that's why it will take a little time to load these uh, small settings and let's just move to the next image these are stars and glows you can even increase or decrease them by just copying this press ctrl j and you can even increase or decrease select this group group one and you can decrease or increase these stars it all depends on your choice so we'll delete that one first time and uh, what else uh, let's just close you will get some color corrections in that like this one these are pre-made and you can just select your choice color like let me just show you what colors we have available in that just turn this off and look at this this little pink color blue a little yellow um, these type of colors are in its uh, color swatches so but the default is much better i prefer to use default after all uh, you can turn off this background even you can see that it's on our default background look at this the background is default and turn on it all your choice so don't be worried about that 
let's just close and let me just show you the next image this one and today we will use this image to work with our uh, actions so creating a selection around this and after all when we apply our effect it will be look like this one do you don't you like this this is an amazing thing and uh, every time you run this it will create some random effects so there will be no similarity between the those two uh, we can say that selections it all your choice and first of all you need to use a high definition image which is most important step of this uh, in these actions because if you use high definition image it will capture more detail and it will create some uh, layer paths because paths needs high definition area so that's why try to use high definition images if you will never be get any error and i am using photoshop cs6 extended let me just show you cs6 extended okay so this version is much better and for these type of actions and let's just start our work let me just delete that and delete that action uh, layer when you will start drag your image into that it will look like this or whatever it, its layer, layer name is it if it is not uh, locked so what is the procedure to lock this layer it's a simple work you just need to go to uh, uh layer new layer and background form selected layer it's a simple thing you could just lock this layer and name this layer as background okay and now the next step is we will create a selection around this image so we'll go to quick selection tool which is pretty much nice and best for these type of images so if you are not using for manipulation it will be good because this will create a edgy selection so select this anyway and uh, but uh, just create a selection around this this is our main uh, purpose randomness is obvious thing in that because there are more lots of uh, glowing that's why it will maybe leave some areas so you just need to select with your own choice so like this one these hairs are most important in this uh, image so the more you capture the detail the more you will get the awesome result so i think it's top one is uh, fixed very nicely and it's time to get these shoes in our selection so if you are not getting these shoes in our selection you just need to go to our lasso tool make the feather to zero percent zero pixel sorry shift and you will see a plus point and just click and we will select that area which is best suitable for us like this one and this one okay it's added into our selection and if you want to contradict or you can say contract uh, you can say minus this area just press minus uh, alt key and you will see that there is a minus uh, mark you just click and select that area which you don't want to add into selection like this one and what else left this one so press shift you will see a plus a sign and just add this belt into our selection and a little bit of our pants so good this is done and only this area left so we select a quick selection tool maybe it could help us if it did not help just size it down and it will automatically capture the little minor details and like this one great and this is nicely done okay so you can see that this area is so much we which we don't need that uh, need so I'll click alt and click and that that layer and you will see that it will select that area very nicely we, you can even increase this a little bit more like this and even increase this one pay attention on your selection side because this is the most important part if your selection is best your overall image will be amazing so take a little time to create selections like this one great and uh, perfect these hairs are included very nicely so good and there is only one thing is left in this zip so take this if into our selection good one now only this part and this part is not 
uh, necessary so we'll press this uh, lasso tool press alt and click and contradict that area or we can, I, I mean to say that we have to deselect this area by using this purpose or we can say this tool so good that's good and same thing alt and click and we don't need that area too so good one that's like a good thing I think it's uh, great maybe we don't need that too that's a good sign and we will add this one too so press shift and selecting these hairs great and nice so the selection pr process is done I think so everything is uh, selected very nicely and we will copy this layer and we will click on this layer mask by making your first layer as uh, sorry foreground color as black and click on this so it will you can say that uh, created a layer mask on it just go to layer mask and click on refine mask zoom it in and let me check to see if it is working so if it is not working so just make everything zero deselect this uh, and we'll simply just do a little tweaking with these uh, white lines or we can see the white background this is not actually white this is gray but we don't have any problem with this we just need to remove that so good this one is good so now what we'll do is we'll simply just decontaminate colors but before doing that we'll simply just shift this edge oops it's too much click on decontamination that's good okay so our main purpose is done which was selection so click on this new layer with layer mask and click on ok this is not an important step I just do it to get more uh, amazing results so I just click and drag this layer mask and apply now create a new selection by pressing control and click on this layer create a new layer and we'll press uh, sorry click on this color swatches and we'll need some colors like what color you would like to prefer I would like to go with green and press alt plus backspace press control D at this time and we will so we'll just, uh, just simply name this layer as P R U S H brush all the layer name is B in lowercase and now we'll delete that uh, delete now turn on this turn off this one and we we'll press control and click so it will click and it will create a selection around this character we'll select this background copy layer and we'll go to select modify and expand we will expand it by 15 pixels very nice and good now what we'll do is we'll go to edit fill and fill it with content aware click on ok and we'll take a little time to fill it with background color so it will take this area and fill it into that and press ctrl D now turn off this and you will see that it is very nicely removed now there are only one thing is left in this area so we'll select our patch tool and select this area and delete that or replace that with this one it will automatically adjust the area according to our needs turn on this one and we have this character so what we will do is we'll simply just turn off these uh, these layers and delete them for the time being because I wasted your time a little bit and you'll just need this one okay so now what we'll do is we'll go to actions if you are not seeing this one you just need to let me just close this one you just need to go to uh, windows actions or the short key is alt plus f9 and if you want to load cosmic actions click on this uh, icon go to load actions 
and when you will download that file you will see that there is a little cosmic uh, action file there will only one file in uh, zip file so click on load and you will see that it will load it up four directions or five directions middle down up left right it all depends on your choice so for this image it is on the right side i will click on right and extract that and you will see that there are lots of processes in this uh, action file we'll simply just uh, create a selection around this we'll just run this and we can say that uh, play these actions and wait for the process to complete its work so click play and wait for the processes okay so the process is completed you just need to close this uh, action panel and press ctrl alt and click on this arrow it will close all these groups at once and you will see that this is a nice uh, output but we need some changes uh, like this image is not so visible and this uh, type of things so what we'll do is we'll just click on this layer mask thumbnail which is created already on that so in case we have some bit, so something did wrong it will just co recover this area so click on this layer mask thumbnail selecting your foreground color as black and select brush tool sorry opacity should be about 29 or 30 flow should be 40 39 it's all depends on you just need to we don't need to completely remove that we just need a little touch so you could easy visible this area like this look at this one So great. So that's all. And uh, that's it. Yeah, that's it so this is what we can do after right finishing this product and if you did something wrong you just need to fill it with that area again so it could be not so uh, done and you will see that oops sorry you don't need to do that just click on and we need a little stars you'll see that there are no stars here so there is an easy step just select your brush tool and opacity should be about 10 or 11 percent flow should be about this one and select your layer mask thumbnail and click on this one so good it will get back these details to this image face and you will see that this is the final thing so what we can edit in that we can edit everything as i shown in, in a, some examples so these are stars you can increase or decrease according to your needs you can just turn on this uh, layer effect okay and you can even turn off these uh, we can say that these clouds so turn on them because it really gives a nice look to your image and this one should also be turned on and you can turn on everything or turn off or you can just edit delete add or whatever you like to do with this image so this is the background you can just change this and what are in adjustments so in adjustments we will see some color corrections like this one and some of this uh, blue color we don't need that and just add some details like this one this one it all depends on you so uh, you can play with the settings like go to adjustments and go to your color corrections or color balance and you can just increase the red one or pink one or blue one it all on your choice so i uh, will not touch this one because the default one is much better so you can just check out the selective colors and you will see the red one so you can increase or decrease the red one so you'll just increase the red one make it zero or check 
a minus eight percent you can change to yellow or more red one and like this so it's all your choice you can do whatever you like to do with this image so i hope you like this video and make sure to subscribe my channel to get more interesting videos like this and uh, if you like my videos give this video a thumbs up and uh, the downloading link for these files are given in the description bar you can just free download these files we'll meet in our next video never stop and keep learning